Get ready to hear the truth about America on a show that's not immune to the facts with your host, Dan Bongino. All right, welcome to the Dan Bongino Show. Producer Joe, how are you today? Hey, I'm glad to be here in this crazy weekend. Yeah, it's a, listen, it's a big news day. I've got a stacked show for you today, so uh, please don't miss a second of it. A lot of important stories out there. Uh, let's just get right in. Let's not waste any time here. Hey, today's show brought to you by Quip. Quip, that's Q-U-I-P. What's Quip, you ask? Well, it yeah. is uh, one of my favorite new products, and uh, believe me, I mean that. My daughter, too. I had to get a new toothbrush, Joe, mm. um, because uh, my daughter stole the Quip that I got, and she loves it. It is an electric <laughs> toothbrush, and it is absolutely fantastic. When it comes to your health, brushing your teeth, it's one of the most important parts of your day. Quip knows that. They've combined dentistry and design to make a better electric toothbrush. This thing, <laughs> I, I, I told my wife, she's like, well, what is it like? I'm like, it's like a power washing thing for your mouth. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> terrific. It's the new electric toothbrush that packs just the right amount of vibrations into a slimmer design at a fraction of the cost of those bulkier traditional electric toothbrushes. You know, they look like Pintos. You got to take them with you on the road. You can't do it. Those older ones, right? And guiding pulses alert you went to switch size, making brushing the right amount effortless. Quip comes with a mount that suctions right to your mirror. I stuck that up on my mirror this morning. And unsticks to use as a cover for hygienic travel anywhere, whether it's going in your gym bag or carry-on. And because the thing that cleans your mouth should also be clean, Quip's subscription plan refreshes your brush on a dentist-recommended schedule, delivering new brush heads every three months for just five bucks, including free shipping worldwide. Quip is backed by a network of over 10,000 dental professionals, including dentists, hygienists, and dental students. Most toothbrushes don't get named one of Time Magazine's best inventions of the year, but Quip did. Use it, and you'll find out why quickly. This thing is great. Find out for yourself why. Quip starts at just $25 and... If you go to getquip, that's Q-U-I-P dot com, that's getquip dot com slash Dan. That's getquip, Q-U-I-P dot com slash Dan. Right now, you'll get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at getquip dot com slash Dan, spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash Dan. Great company. Okay, so much going on. I had a debate where I start, but uh, I think we need to start uh, with the dossier. And what happened over the weekend. So the Democrats released their own memo, uh, yeah. folks. Their own memo came out. And Joe, uh, you look watching me on video. Let me uh, pull you up here full screen so you can get the full effect. Dude. Uh-huh. Yes. Thank you, Democrats. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what a great memo. Man alive. You would think they were working for the Trump administration. Yeah. So the Democrats released their memo. And just to give you a little bit of the backstory for those of you who just started listening to my show recently. The Obama team spied on the Trump team. The Republicans, in conjunction with Devin Nunez, released a memo describing uh, in very lurid and disturbing detail how it happened in many respects. The Democrats, of course, who are the new police state supporters and don't believe in the Fourth Amendment anymore, Joe, or anything like that. Remember, the Democrats are at war right now with the First Amendment on college campuses. Nobody's allowed to speak. The Second Amendment through your right to to protect yourself. And the Fourth Amendment uh, against uh, illegal search and seizure. The Democrats don't care. They don't. They think it's okay to spy on people now. If you're a Democrat now, sadly, your party is the anti-civil liberals party, anti-civil Liberties Party. So instead of acknowledging in the Nunez memo that they were in a world of hurt and that they needed to fix the system, what do they do? They double down on stupid, which is what the modern Democrat Party is getting very, very good at. Yeah. So they released their own memo. And in their memo, Joe, they're like, listen, we're going to clean this thing up. The memo, we're going to talk about what really happened. And in the memo, they confirmed two things. So I want to thank them for doing this, that the dossier of fake information on Donald Trump was, in fact, used to spy on the Trump team. They confirmed that. So thank you. Thank you. Good job, guys. Nice job, fellas. Right. Thank you, Joe. You get a round of applause from Armacost there. Thank yeah. you very much. And secondly, they acknowledge that the court, the FISA court that okayed the warrant to spy on the Trump team was never, in fact, told that Hillary or the DNC paid for the information. Joe. Oh, another yes, round sir. of applause. Thank you, Democrats. We really appreciate it. Now, everyone who's been commenting on this uh, reputably, Byron York, Andy McCarthy, a number of rather prominent figures Mm -hmm. out there have come to the exact same conclusion that the Democrat memo was a total political disaster for the Democrats and does nothing but buttress the case the Republicans have been making the whole time that the Democrats are in love with the police state now. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. This is Warner Wolf, our buddy. Who said, Let's go to the videotape. And what did they release? Videotape that proves exactly what we've been saying. Now, 
There's a lot of verbal shenanigans in this, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But I do have a lot of other material to get to as well. But this is important because it broke over the weekend. Um, I'm going to put in the show notes at Bongino.com. Please go. I know. I, I mean, I get tired of saying it. Uh, uh, you know, it's not. I get it. It's my website. But please go to the website, Bongino.com. Read the show notes today. I, I pick about five or six Ringer articles. There are some really, really, really good ones by Andy McCarthy and Byron York telling you what I'm telling you now in, in detail how this is a disaster for the Democrats, this memo. You have to read these pieces to be informed on it and what's going on. I'll also, if you join my email list, I'll send them to you. Okay, on point number one. They, they're they making an attempt, point number one being that the dossier was used to spy on the Trump team. In other mm. words, fake information was used to spy on an American citizen. Mm-hmm. Devastating. Fourth Amendment out. Fourth Amendment out the window. They try to defend it, Joe, by insinuating throughout the document that, well, the fake dossier, Joseph, and the fake information was just a part of it. No, no, no. Folks, I know you get tired of hearing it, but I have to establish some set of bona fides. I was a federal agent. Okay, you get it. Great. Good. Who cares? I only say that because I've sworn out warrants. Many of them. Arrest warrants, yeah. search warrants. I've gone in and although it's not a warrant, I've gotten subpoenas, do satikum, ad testificatum, meaning produce documents or come testify. I am intimately familiar in my over a, a, a decade of work, in my over a, a, in, in nearly a decade more, 12 years with the Secret Service, with the federal criminal procedures and how they work. Whether the dossier was 10% of what it took to get the warrant, or 1%, or 100%, it doesn't matter. Do you know why, Joe? There is a standard of proof. Mm. Folks, Joe, if I if I lose the audience, yeah. please oh. stop me. You are their representative, and they love you based on some traffic I got this email. I'm stoked about today's show, but my energy is high, even though I've been up since like 5 o'clock because I had to do Fox and Friends this yeah. morning, and I'll get to that later, too. I can tell. I'm, no, I am. I'm really I, stoked I, today. Yeah, I, know. I know you can tell because you can see me on video too. Uh, folks, there is a standard of a legal standard of evidence to obtain a warrant. It is black and white. You either have it or you do not. It is not marginal, meaning you don't say anywhere in the law, Joe, does it say, okay, I want to get a warrant to wiretap Joe Armacost's phones. You need a standard of evidence that probable cause of a crime has happened. You have probable cause, probable cause of a crime that Joe committed it and that listening to his conversations is the only way we're going to be able to gather evidence outside other less intrusive means. Right. You don't get to go to the judge and go, judge, this is what the Democrats are arguing, by the way. I have 99.9% of what I need in probable cause I'm not to 100, Judge, but I got 99, and therefore I'd like a warrant to spy on uh, on Joe. The judge is going to laugh you out of the court. You either have probable cause or you don't. Now, Adam Schiff, the Democrat uh, who is just a, a really unbelievably horrible human being, the Democrat on the Intel Committee who is pushing this memo, is I, I, he's a lawyer. Which is puzzling to me that he would put a memo out which defends the Republican cause and try to make it a legal sounding document. His argument, Joe, do you see now how silly his argument is? Well, the dossier was just a part of the probable cause that we used to get a warrant. Well, would the, what, what are you saying? So you're saying it was what, 20%? So without the dossier, you only had 80% of probable cause. Oh. Did, by the way, Joe, <laughs> keep in mind. Yeah. I'm conceding a major point to him that I shouldn't, but I'm doing it to show you how ridiculous the Democrat case is. And McCarthy goes into this at length in his piece at National Review, which will be in the show notes, which is a must read, right? By the way, I got to put this. I got so much. I love Andy, man. I love Andy McCarthy. He's a a a ringer. Total ringer. I, I wait with bated breath for every article to come out. He makes this point. Because he's a he's a, a a practiced and professional attorney who has prosecuted big cases for the United States government. It doesn't matter. 
whether the dossier, Joe, was 100 percent of what the probable cause evidence. In other words, the information contained in it. Trump was here and Trump did this and Trump did that. By the way, the dossier has been entirely discredited. But all of the things it said Trump did, the Democrats have now acknowledged that all of the things the dossier said they did was used on an application to spy on the man. They're now saying, oh, no, it was just a small piece of it. It doesn't matter. It was what you used to obtain a black or white standard, probable cause. Yeah. Without it, they're already acknowledging they didn't have the black or white standard. Yeah. Is it? There's a hard fence, folks. The hard fence is probable cause. You're either on one side of the fence or the other. You don't get to say, judge up halfway up, halfway there. I've almost got it. Get out of my courtroom immediately will be the response. And go practice up on your criminal investigative skills. The standard is probable cause. The Democrats, if they made the case, which they do not at any point in the memo, if they, and this is the argument for your liberal friends, if they had made the case at any point in the memo, Joe, Mm -hmm. that probable cause existed before the dossier, and it was some kind of a supplement, then they may have a case. Yeah, I hear you. But that's not what they're saying. Right. They're saying the dossier was used to establish probable cause. But don't worry, Joe. It was just a little bit. <laughs> it was just a little bit. It was like horseshoes and hand grenades. We were close. We yeah. were close. <laughs> we, we, we got We were almost there. We were 95% of the way there. Now. Let me just get back to the point I was making because I'm, I'm getting overly excited. I hate that because <laughs> I really was looking for. I've been I, I was up at CPAC last week's shows. Where th- this is my I'm back and I'm back back in my studio ready to rock and roll today. Adam Schiff is trying to make the point. Both points are wrong, by the way, that it was say a small portion of the information needed to get over the fence. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, even that point is ridiculous based on a body of evidence that's now incontrovertible. The deputy director of the FBI, Andrew McCabe, Mm -hmm. who was intimately involved in these cases, has already admitted in on the record testimony that the warrant would have never been issued to spy on the Trump team without the dossier. He's already admitted this. Right, right. And although we don't have the FISA warrant applications now, ladies and gentlemen, nobody has produced a scintilla of evidence of probable cause that Carter Page, who was the warrant was issued against as a vehicle to spy on the Trump team. Because remember, they can go back and get his communications with the Trump team, his texts, his historical emails, everything. That was the vehicle, right? Him and Manafort Mm. to get warrants on them. Nobody has produced evidence of probable cause of any crime. Joe. How do I know that? Let me let me set you up, Joe. Joe is I I I know he hates when I do this, but I'll do it anyway. All right. Joe, if I have probable cause, right, that Carter Page, yeah, that, who, just to be clear, that's who the FISA warrant was issued on, and I'm telling mm-hmm. you, it was just it was a ruse. It was just to spy on Trump. They weren't looking at Page, even though the warrants against him. Right. They wanted his emails. Do remember remember the show I did on the hops? Yep. There's a yeah, there's yeah. a th- there's a hop rule. Yeah. In other words, they can get Page and a Page email Don Trump Jr. Then they can get Trump Jr.'s emails too. Page is just a vehicle to do it. I'm telling you, the FBI has already acknowledged that the war- FISA warrant against Page would not have happened without the dossier. Mm-hmm. That probable cause is not a 99% game. You either have it or you don't. Mm-hmm. The Democrats don't at any point try to refute that fact that they had probable cause otherwise. Mm-hmm. And let me ask you this simple question, Joe. Mm-hmm. Carter Page is on Sean Hannity tonight mm-hmm. in the show. Let me. I'm not messing with your head here. Is is he doing that from a federal prison? No, he's not, Dan. No, he's not, Dan. I did not set Joe up for this. He he was not in a federal prison, right? No, you didn't even not. hear about the interview. You've been nope. working all morning. Right. He Carter Page has been all over cable news. Carter Page is not under arrest. Carter Page is not in jail. Carter Page. If you had probable cause that that Carter Page, by the way, was guilty of being a foreign agent in violation of federal law. Why is he on cable news? Why is he out there running around? This is supposedly the most dangerous spy, what, in modern U.S. history? And yet he's on Hannity tonight. Again, he's been on MSNBC, (laughs) I think like the Today Show or whatever. He's probably been on Ren and Stimpy, for all we know. (laughs) Carter Page has been all over the place. Joe, 
<laughs> let, let me tell you something else. For the for the people out there who are not in federal law enforcement or local, for that matter, right. the standard for getting a warrant. 